Today, we're going to be learning how to add sounds to your Alice world. Music and sound can add depth and character to your world and make it just a little bit more interesting and dramatic. I've already built this kind of weird world focusing on a pirate playing card to showcase this. As we uh, run this world, it feels a little bit flat. So first of all, we're going to want to have the sound of the pirate ship at the beginning over water. There are two ways to import audio into Alice. You can either use the resource manager to first import all your audio files into the project so you can use them later, or you can add them as you need them when calling the play audio procedure. In this demo, we're going to use the resource manager to first import the audio. We go to Project, Resource Manager, and then Import Audio, and I find my pirate ship sound. Alice 3 supports MP3 and WAV format files. You can import any of these type of files that you like. It doesn't necessarily need to be from the Alice Audio Library. If the audio file you want to use isn't in one of these formats, check out our how-to video on preparing an audio file for Alice using Audacity. If you want to preview the sound file, you can double-click on the sound and press the play button to hear what it sounds like. Yeah, this sounds good, so let's go ahead and close this tab. Now, I can go into the code editor, grab my play audio procedure, and drag that into my code, and then select pirateship.mp3. Let's see how that sounds. So, as we can see, the ship didn't move, but we want our audio to play at the same time that it does move. To solve this, I'll drag a do together into my code and put both my move procedure and my play audio procedure inside of it. Let's see how this works. All right, we're getting there. Still, I think the sound is just a little bit too loud for my taste, and there seemed to be a pause that we don't want between the ship moving and zooming into the playing card, meaning that our sound effect was going on for a little too long. Still, not to worry, we can fix that easily. To edit the individual sounds, I'm going to click on the drop-down menu of our audio source and go to Custom Audio Source. Here, I can change the volume of the sound, as well as when the sound starts, and stops. For the volume, I'm going to lower it to about 0.4. How loud or quiet a sound is differs from file to file, so you're going to need to use your best judgment to figure out if something is too loud or too quiet. Now for the length. I can see in my code that the pirate ship moves forward for 6 seconds. The pirate ship sound is around 13 seconds. Since that's the case, I won't change the starting point but I will change the stopping point to be around 6 seconds, where the end of the animation should be. For this particular sound, it works well to be cut off after 6 seconds, but that isn't the case for all sounds. Again, you're going to have to use your best judgment and a little bit of experimenting to figure out good locations to shorten your sound. Let's test it anyway, though. This sounds good! Now, let's see it all in action and run our world. Cool! I think it works. Although just a small change, I think it's brought a little bit more character to the project. I know it's just one sound, but as you add more and more sounds to your Alice world, it'll make a really big difference. Thanks for watching, and good luck on integrating sounds into your worlds.